Welcome back everyone. I hope everyone is safe in this pandemic. So do take care of yourself. And I'm going to start something new in this channel that is the Adobe XD animation series where I'll be going through tutorials of uh, micro interactions and different animations that's possible in Adobe XD. So before we get started, let me just show you a demo of what we're going to build today and then we can get started. So once you hover on this, you can actually scroll through the different choices available. And this one is a similar thing, but with a different UI style. So let's get started. So first off, I take an artboard here. I choose the iPhone 6. And in the demo, I've showed you two different styles. One is the neomorphic uh, design pattern and one is a normal uh, material design. So in this demo, let's uh, build the neomorphic style. So anything works on the similar uh, pattern here. So let's go for the neomorphic style. So I come back to the artboard here and I've downloaded a neomorphic UI kit. You get this on free, uh, just Google it and you'll find it. So I choose these two boxes here and I paste it here. And now I just try to align it, uh, give it some proper width and align it according to the design I want. So there you go. And let me just add some text here. So I say select and I align it. And I also try to draw a chevron here, give it some proper width and color. So this looks good. And now we need a selection box, which opens up. So I use this one and I place it just behind it. And I try to resize it as per our need and then add some choices. So let's say choice one, choice two and so on. Just copy paste it. So here we have a good number of choices and now you can add some dividers or you can just skip it. So I'll add a divider here. And in XD, you have this uh, cool feature of repeating it. So just click on repeat grid and just drag it down. So that repeats the lines here or the dividers. And then you can uh, click and resize it as per your size. So this looks cool. Uh, but there are some extra lines in the bottom. So what you could do is just uh, bring back this uh, selection and that would delete those lines. Okay, now we have our dividers and our choices. So let's just group these both into one. So I select both and I hit control G. So we have a group here and now we got to use the vertical scroll. So we have three options here. We got to use the vertical scroll. So I click on that and you get this uh, selection in blue just uh, align the selections to the both the edges. So the top edge and the bottom edge. So once that is done, uh, uh, basically you will be able to scroll this particular area. So let me just preview this and show you. So as you can see, I can scroll through this particular area. So that is set. Now what we could do is the animation part. So for that, uh, it's good if you create a component that makes it easy. So what I do is I group all these into one group. So all these three into one group and the scroll area and the box into one group. Okay. Uh, just bring this above the ordering. Okay. Now it looks good. So it's good to rename the layers uh, that would be helpful. I have renamed both of it. And now what you could do is make this both into a component. So I select both and I hit command K or control K. So now we have a component here and now we can define states for it. So this is the default state. So in the default state, we don't want this expanded view. So what I do is I go to the scroll group and I note down this, uh, align, uh, the properties here. So it's 121. So now I take it a little above so that it looks like animating from the top. So I put it a little above and I turn the opacity to zero. And similar with the selection box here, I change the height to the same height of the list box selection. So let's that's 44. So don't forget to note down the previous height here. So it's 188. I change it to 44 and again change the opacity to zero. So this is our default state. It's ready. Now what we got to do is uh, create a hover state for it. 
So go here and select the hover state. In the hover state, we have to revert back the previous changes. So the scroll box, uh, it was 121. Uh, sorry, this was 188 and I changed it to the opacity 100. And this was uh, opacity 100 and the uh, Y coordinates was 121. So now we are back in the hover state. So now we have both our states set. And also I'll do what I'll do is uh, change the chevron angle to 180. So it looks like it's rotated. So now we have both our states. So that's it. We are done. So let's go ahead and preview this. So now it's in the normal state. I hover on it, it opens up and I can scroll through the different choices. So I go out, it gets to the normal state. So that is cool. So as a bonus to this video, let's see how we can get to a selected state for this. So I duplicate an artboard here and I, let's say the choice three is the selected choice. So what I do is I go to the hover state. So this is the selection, but first I need to go to the hover state. And let's say I create a box for choice two here. And I, what I would do is I would make the fill empty and also the border empty. So this is basically for clicking it. So I'll rename it as click. And what I would do is I would put it inside the selection box. So now we are set low. So let's go to the prototype tab and click an arrow and drag it to the final state and select tap auto animate. So that's it, we are done. So now let's uh, set it back to default and give a preview. So the hover works and I can scroll through. Let me select the choice two and it's selected. Oops, I made a mistake. I think it should be choice two, but you uh, get it right. So that is how we do it. So I hope this video was helpful for you and do comment below if you want to see more of these series or whatever you want to see, just comment below. That would help me understand what I should do next. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.